Farmer Valve Developer Chat Felishak and Riot Games that Aaron Drive, Kimberly Wallow have joined forces to farm New Seattle, based game studio Stray Bombay. Felishak spent 12 years at Valve before leaving back in 2017, and helped build the Stories for every game in the Half-Life, Left Far Dead, and Portal series. Following his departure, the veteran scribe joined Worlds of Drift and Surgeon Simulator, developer boss studios to serve as game director on a mystery project, but has now seemingly left that post. Wow. Meanwhile most recently worked as a technical designer at Riot Games, where she helped develop the various game and social systems present in League of Legends. She is a specialist in player psychology, artificial intelligence, and human-centric design, has a fee in computer science, and like Felishak has a keen interest in the world of virtual reality having previously worked as a coder and designer on the well-received via Puzzler Fantastic Contraption. In their new venture, the pair want to make social games that give players a place to breathe and live in the moment, and hope to do so while also changing the culture of game development. Players are smart, they are social, but games often do not reflect that and we think that can change. So we are forming a new studio in Seattle that is itself cooperative. As Kim and I talked over the years about the kind of games we want to make, we realized we want to create games that give players a place to breathe and live in the moment. Wrote Felishak in a blog post, we think now is the time to change the culture of game development, make everyone make those, not just in their impact on the project, but in how we divide the loot of our success. Relax strict to policies, because we trust each other to take the time you need. We want to build games that reflect our culture. Edit Wong, you can find out more about Stray Bond Day by checking out the full announcement post. But do not expect any concrete game details until Felicia and Val have finished laying the foundations. There is so much to see and do at the 2019 Game Developers Conference next math that it can be easy to overlook whole segments of the show. And organizers want to ensure you do not miss out on one very unique counter, the old turtle DD showcase. This eclectic array of offbeat, unique, and just a plain interesting alternative controllers I open to your BD. Attendees and will make its sixth appearance at the CONFE NCEWED Free, March 20 of minus 22 in a Moscow e Convention Center. The story behind each of these unique games is fascinating, and the team at Gao Sutra have been publishing a series of interviews with this year's old turtle DD participants that delve deeper into where their creations go from and how they were made. They have already covered about half of the 20 games in this year's showcase, with more on the way. So make time to check them out before KD arrives next month. You will have a better idea of what to see at the show this year, where these remarkable games came from, and how you might apply lessons learned by their creators to your own work. Because the book Rachel is played using a book can shredder. Players must do something that no purely digital game could ask them to do. Permanently destroy something. The game uses this to confront the player with how they feel about that destruction, reflect on other things they may have lost, and lets them play out the idea of growing after a period of grief. The book that they damage becomes a unique and personal object there. Destructive acts become creative, using a physical book to act out the emotions. Behind a story helps. Players feel what that means to them on a physical level. Guitar Wizards is a unique hidden game that lets players make music together. It can be played competitively or cooperatively. As players settle into a groove and find a flow, by taking away the screen, 
get our Wizards brains players face to face in an epic battle, and create space for a crowd to farm around their performance. The lead battleground also creates the feeling of being a badass rock star wizard, casting flashing spells that travel towards an opponent. PLNG is designed to be controlled by the unique motions and functions of a household toilet plunger. Interesting one button game design keeps the mini games fresh and exciting, while short play sessions allow people to come, plunge and leave without much commitment. Table far far a table of shimmering colors and the song looks to bring players together through its dazzling light show and accessible design. In Kuko you control a flock of mechanical birds with the mechanism of a cuckoo clock. The birds all move in their own tempo, which encourages the player to jump from clock to clock to give new commands. The interaction contains visceral pulling on weights and finally setting the hands of the clock. The gears inside the mechanism resist the pulling and rattle along with the movement of the birds. All in all this creates a frantic multiplayer game where you are never really in control. The over team the team challenged themselves in creating an accessible air controller from a basketball toy. Partnering with the Idea Realization Lab in Chicago DePaul University, over time was built with hardware that allows it to sense how a player is moving as they play with the toy, creating an amazing little basketball game. It may look like a normal arcade game from the front. But the animation is a secret, a hidden entrance behind the arcade booth. Those double H O E N T E R F I N D the layer of the nemesis, a dark room with a screen, chair, and a plethora of controls, including a rope, crank, lever, paddles, and various buttons of diverse shapes and sizes. While the players on the outside enjoy a high-speed competitive 2D platformer. The Nemesis hides in their lair, utilizing the tools at their disposal to activate environmental traps and weapons to tactically dispose of the players and become the ultimate victor. In this interview, creative led Henry Lun talks about how and why continue impacting your illnesses to custom made face shield controllers, paired with two custom fabricated control panels. In order to give each player their own split screen, the face shields flicker a voltage-dependent privacy film at safe, varying rates. In coordination with this rate, the on-screen game also flickers at the same rate, effectively showing two separate screens to each individual, depending on the rate their mask is flickering. In order for each player to see all of the enemies on screen. They must adjust their mask to the frequencies of each type of enemy. Once adjusted, they will be able to see the encroaching enemies and eliminate them with their turret controls. Extra Reality Codebreaker is a single-player puzzle game where each puzzle is designed in two parts. The first part uses a diode to interact with the small game. While the second part requires the player mimic that interaction outside of the controller, this creates a unique experience, which ends with the player constructing their own version of the controller in order to solve the final puzzle. The name says it all: Hulk Up, a couch code up. Games words the idea of couch code up local multiplayer video games by cutting out the video part of the game. Moving the entire experience onto the couch itself, LED lights and audio serve as multimedia feedback as players interact with the couch cushions, which act as the game's controller. Hell can't play with the way we interact with each other on couches in video games and in public spaces, challenging the implicit rules of these social spaces in order to create a solid. Unexpected experience for players and spectators alike. Each of these interviews offers a unique perspective on a remarkable game, one of which may win the Outdoor Video Award, which includes a three dollars 
0000 prize, plus a special trophy handmade by game maker and farmer Donald Turtle. DD participant to Ben Baumgarten at the if ceremony during DD, with judging taking place on site. No matter who wins, all DD 2019 attendees who stop by the old turtle. The, the exhibit will have the chance to play all of this inventive and innovative games using unique, one-of-a-kind controllers, and it may be your only chance to do so. For more details of NGDC 2019, visit the show's official website, or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, or God Art Sutra and DD are sibling organizations. Under parent company Informa, Netflix has just dropped a special interactive installment of Black Mirror to give us all a bleak reality check, as we try to forget about the crushing weight of existence during the holidays. Dipped, Bender Snatch.